morning, everybody, and welcome to the pro program and web development with the master of it all, <laughs> De Debbie Bosco. Thank Hello. you very much. Okay. Thank you for coming. Oh, it's our pleasure. You have been doing, uh, you've been with Diamond for seven years now. I have been with Diamond for seven years. I worked as a math teacher for the first six, yep. and then we started this new program this year, and I got my vocational teacher license, and we have freshmen who started this year. Oh, great, great. We'll ask uh, students some classes. The, uh, the um, like we just talked about the, the big, like Amazon hooking up with coal just to get a head start, everybody trying to get into the thing. It's the world. It's, it's the, the world. It really the world is the today. world. It, it is. Everywhere, it is. any language, any country, they're all involved in computers. That is true. Anything that can be automated, that can be any task that can be attributed to an algorithm can be done by computers or can be done by robots mm -hmm. or automated technology. And that's where the world is going. So Diamond wants to prepare students for the future. As you said earlier, they can look at something that comes on their screen in a computer, but the background to it is important to be able to know why or how you got it, that how is the true. culture is. And that's what, that's what uh, has to be performed. That is true. There is so much available online right now for students to be able to go off and learn programming by themselves, but copying and pasting example code doesn't teach you the understanding of the language, how the language works, what the construct is behind it, how different technologies interact with each other, and that's the extra, one of the extra pieces that Diamond gives these students. Now, the, after your course, these are freshmen, you will do we're there, I have them for three and a half years. Okay, so you, this will be the test of getting the best out of all of them. Getting the best out of all of them. Even if they like games. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot <laughs> of them do want to become uh, game developers. Yeah, hey, I like don't it. blame them. No, when, no. I was, when I was 14 years old, that's what I wanted to do. Of course, yeah. I didn't really have the state-of-the-art technology no. or computers that they have now. Yeah, well, I can, I can assume when the school want to embrace you because they <laughs> see this as such a, a, a way to get some, a lot of things done that they'd like to get done. Yes. The undercover of definitely. how to get uh, some of these programs. Done. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Now, when you start as a, as a freshman in your class, mm -hmm. you then are familiar with computers or not? Uh, most of them, honestly, are familiar with computers. They all have a smartphone, or if they don't have one, they know someone who does. Yeah. They know a lot more about computers than even students did even five years ago. Mm -hmm. So teaching them about computers isn't necessarily my focus and, and how to actually yeah. interact with a computer. So when they're freshmen, they're learning HTML and CSS and JavaScript, which are all languages that you use for web design. Mm -hmm. okay. And we actually are just finishing up HTML and CSS this week and we're gonna be starting JavaScript, which is the first programming language that I'm gonna be teaching them. We actually have a book that we're using uh, called The Gamer's Guide to Coding. Okay. And their final exam for the course or Would for freshman that. year will be building a little game that'll run okay. on a, on a web page. Uh -huh. So That's get nice. them excited about it. Well, I mean, I could see that they're very much interested in it. I mean, really, <laughs> they yeah. are. Uh, you know, they um, are. But and this is you uh, uh, again. This, this class you'll have for four years. I will have this class for four years. Yeah. yeah. Next year they have the opportunity to take AP Computer Science Principles. So they can, if they take the AP exam, they can get college credit for that. They'll be learning Python and hopefully C Sharp. Mm -hmm. If not C Sharp next year, they'll be learning it when they're juniors. And they'll also be able to take the AP Computer Science A exam, which is in Java. So at each level, while you have the freshmen, mm -hmm. this four years, mm -hmm. when you start to get freshman, sophomore, mm -hmm. you have different programs each year. Yes. Yes, you we would, have a different curriculum for each year. They would have to take a basic test to get, if they come in as sophomores. If they come in as this. sophomores, then they would miss the piece on HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript. We're not going to get all the way through everything yeah. you can do with JavaScript this year. Um, but all of those materials are actually available online. Okay. So we use Google, Google Classroom, excuse yeah. me. And uh, all the slides that I present in class to the students are available after. So when they're going through and completing an assignment or a, or a web page, they actually have the materials and they can go back and Debbie, to place, them. have any of the, your students placed, be placed in an industry that's 
brutally big. It is brutally big. It's brutally big. Uh, yeah, it's when they graduate, they will be qualified to be either a web developer, a web designer. They can do some game design, right? They could also become an associate programmer right, uh, right after graduation. Mm -hmm. If they wanted to, they could go on to either a two-year, four-year, or even a post back degree and get into actually actual game architecture or business information systems. That sort of thing. There's so many things that they can the do. The co-op program mm -hmm. uh, at the school with these boys and girls, uh, they get to the point. Will they be in the co-op? Could they be in the co-op? They program? can be in co-op. I would think that they would be big to get in co-op. They can be on co-op uh, as of senior year. In junior year, they have that AP Computer Science exam that they're mm -hmm. go going mm -hmm. to be eligible to take. So I'm going to need them for all of junior year. But as soon as they're seniors, they can go out on co-op or they'll be completing uh, what I call a capstone project here where they can work on something like augmented reality, virtual reality. They can, do, uh, they can build a game and they're going to start, they're going to actually come up with the idea for their project and they're going to spec it out. They're going to architect it and then build it, debug it, and test it. Now, I, there's going to be, I think there's going to be a big rush for you, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I yeah, hope so. there will be a big rush for you in those categories because they're, they're, they're into it and they, they got three years with you and, and you do. can t tap that and you see the ever, ever evolution of, of, of the industry, the high tech, mm -hmm. how they're always looking and looking and looking, and looking to bring people into that thing and there's always a new world. Plus there's also the kind be hackers. I mean, that uh, that seemed to be a you know that seemed to be a trend we seem to accept from foreign countries. I don't know, whether, but that's no. not something I'm going to teach them though. No, I know that. I know that. I know. That. I just say it's so big that all oh, the world is into computers. The world. It, network is, security would be a better. Yeah. Yeah. We, be, we, they'll learn it, about network secu security well, they as well. Have to. They yeah, have they to. Have they have to. to. But it, it is a field of endeavor. When you would say to a student who would enter into a college. Uh, high school, and then what are you going to take when you go to college, if you go to college? In this particular case, this, they have a field, a wide field of choices. They do. And they will have them. You know, they do. And then you will guide them into each one of those areas that they can go to. Right. You know? Right. Even though I know they all want to be game developers. Well, I know. At I know, this they're point, good. they're no, they're going to be learning about databases and the way that businesses use uh, software so that they will be able to pick and choose whichever field they want to specialize in if they decide to go on to college. Yep. So that's our goal. We want to prep them so that they are ready to either go out in the workforce or if they want to go on and further specialize uh, in a computer programming field, then they can do that Diamond too. is unique in many, many ways. It is. It, uh, it is. Actually, like you say, it's brand new. It, this is program is brand new. We yeah. took over this classroom. Yeah, and then it's brand new. It's actually new. a computer lab. This, these boys and girls will be good for four years, mm -hmm. but then the flow starts happening faster. It yeah. does. Uh, for example, this room, I have room for 10 freshmen and 10 sophomores next year. So sophomores and freshmen will be in this room next year. Okay. The next year, we have to expand, and we have to take over either another classroom. Uh, well, basically, we do have to take over another classroom. Uh, to make room for the juniors and then the seniors, which I'm hoping we'll be able to fit together and we'll have to hire another instructor as well. But beyond that, I mean, we don't have room here uh, to expand the program beyond the 10 students that I can take each cycle, unfortunately. I would hope that, and uh, I said earlier on off camera, how Diamond should have their own state, their own channel, uh, their own channel, never mind, their own channel, mm -hmm. an educational channel for Diamond. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when I went, I started my first class, uh, was interviewed, uh, interviewing a uh, dental hygiene. Mm -hmm. And dental hygiene said something to me that I carried on to Mr. Auburn, if he's listening. I said, uh, you know, wh they wanted to do service work for people on the outside, but if they had a separate building to work in, you know, it's a possibility with your landlocked here and you got to get a big, big op operation. This, this would be, uh, this is being taught in Diamond. Mm -hmm. This will get to be very large. Mm -hmm. It'll show, it'll be showcasing Diamond as well as the other class as well. Right. And the other everyday thing. And there's been such a market for it 
the people are going to Debbie. I mean, it's just the market for it, you know? And it's it touches every other, it Everything. touches every, every other industry. Yeah. It really does. So yeah. to be able to situate ourselves so that our, my students can work with the students in the other, uh, in the other shops would be fa fantastic. Yeah. We are right next door to electronics, which is great. So yeah. when we, when our students get to be juniors, I believe, sophomores or juniors, we're actually going to see if we can do something with robotics along with the electronics department yeah. to kind of um, yeah. cross-contaminate the but students. It, but the school itself is, is original in that. The school itself mm -hmm. is original in that. And the thing is that when you talk about education, there's uh, wh what you apply for and what you didn't think existed, um, you know, is you must apply for. Mm -hmm. so no, I understand. That, that also yeah. ties in with what Comcast could be doing if they taught a class here, not a class to take you out, Debbie, <laughs> but a class here if they taught about television, how it worked, it would encompass what you are teaching somehow. Some of it, some of it. Some of it, not all. Yeah, uh, for example, one of the things that we're doing here, because I have a teacher who comes in every other day uh, for, a, for about an hour, her name is uh, Maureen Lacasse, she has a background in media. So we are able to actually take and teach media concepts such as animation to these students. Now animation actually isn't in the Chapter 74 standards for programming and web development, but if you are going to be building an app or if you're going to be building a game, you have to understand how the sprites or the characters inside of the game are going to be moving. Yep. And I think that's important. So this cross-contamination, even though it isn't built into Chapter 74, there are so many ways that these standards apply from one shop to the next. And they shouldn't be treated separately. We should be integrating as much as we can. The, the, the bonus to get, excuse me, is to get Comcast involved in schools is also the fact is that Diamond does not have um, any support from Comcast. Nor while you're teaching this subject and other subjects that are relevant to them. Mm -hmm. And they come in they, as a bonus to them. They come up with the dough to match what Durfee gets, I say. <laughs> and when they come up with the dough, there's two categories they got to go into. One is the category that they have to give to start a high school sports program. Right. It's on television. Mm -hmm. The people in this room are the cameramen. Right, right. Okay, and then the technicians that turn around to do it. Right? <clears throat> and then, it, uh, then you create a library. You create how to best do it and you become uniquely the first one in this commonwealth to be able to do it, which makes you the titular head of all of this. Right. So instead of being down on the bottom, nobody paid attention <laughs> to you about this right. thing, you get to the top by just doing what you're doing. Right. And then right. so you get budgets that uh, pertain to grants that help the children. Right. 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 right, right, which is what it's all about. John Chaser, nice to thank nice you for doing the interview. You're a, uh, a, fr a freshman here at Diamond's class on uh, computers, right? Uh, yes. Call it. I have to get the right title to that and not do it wrong here. It's on his shirt. Oh, that's yes, cool. there too. It's program and web development, right? Yes. Okay. Now you're into that your freshman year. How do you like it? Uh, but ever since exploratory, when we come and visit the shops at first, I noticed that it was one of the shops that really stuck out to me and I really enjoyed. Yeah. So um, I had it as my number one, and I still happened to get in. I'll oh, say so you got it. So when you first went the first round, you got it. You liked it, and then when you put in for it, you got it. Yeah. Right. That's good. The uh, what? What is your? What? What do you see in the future for you while you're being educated in this? Uh, I can see myself pretty much going, uh, eventually getting a job doing this. Yeah. Uh, I'm mostly trying to avoid like doing the. I'm going to say lower jobs, but that's just my way of expressing the name of it. Yeah. Uh, well, not because like I dislike them, but just like so I can get a start in life and yeah. do something I enjoy, especially yeah. programming. So, yeah. so well, it's a great opportunity. I mean, you know, it's, it's, I don't know the any other course uh, around here that's doing that, unless it's at the, uh, at the college level. But certainly, I don't think many of them are going to do it extensively. I know that the, the Debbie's going to make it over this wide open somewhere along the line, and uh, but extensively. So when you learn the basics, which is what you're doing, you can then transfer that into whatever you think you fit a better mode. You know? Yeah. Now, are you a programmer? You want the games too? You're the uh, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, like, 
I'll go into making video games, but my main idea is going as a software developer, purely software. Yeah. I'm not too picky on what it is. I just enjoy sitting down at a computer and being able to put in code and make something work and be able to troubleshoot. And John, when you go home at night, you have a computer? Yes, I do. So you get home at night, do you compare all the things during the day with the night on your computer? Is your home uh, work, uh, going back to the same computer? My, uh, no. Uh, wow. So, like, answer it any way you want. <laughs> it's just, I pretty much go home and, like, sometimes I'll go and do, uh, what's it, programming and play around with programs, check this and that out. Uh, my dad is mainly a uh, programming, per well, not programming, I should say computer scientist. Uh, he's mainly what got me into this sort of stuff. Uh, my mom is more of on the I want to stay back and not progress for either side. But so my house is sort of balanced when it comes yeah. to technology. I'm probably more tech savvy than yeah. anyone in my household. But so, so you're current. You're into it right up, up the bat. Right yeah, away. I try and stay as up to date as possible on most technology. I mean, there are times where I'm going to fall behind because I don't have the money to go yeah. ahead, but I generally try and stay with what's latest and greatest. Our next special guest is Evan Bergeron. Thank Hello. you very much for coming on and mm -hmm. giving your thought. How do you like what you're doing? I love it. Do you? I love computers. Programming is amazing. You get yeah. to do what you want. You can it's make good. anything. And it's a big future, too. I yeah. mean, you're, everywhere you look, uh, it's everywhere all about now. what's happening with uh, Amazon or Facebook, good, bad, or indifferent. There's always changes that will be made by, uh, you know, by some, be a regulatory body or what have you, computer oriented. But you, you also want the free spirit to still yeah. prevail because if you don't have the free spirit to be able to look over your shoulder every day, you don't, you don't get, you don't get out of it what you put into it. Yeah. Now, what is it in particular that you like to do? I want to do game designing, but yeah. I'll do anything. Programming. Yeah. I like to make websites. Yep. I like to animate when we do that. Is anybody else in your family into computers? Like no, that? actually. Uh, they use computers, but I'm the computer guy in the family. Yeah. Okay, so you're the wizard. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it needs fixing, you go I'm home, you there. do it. So you like it, and uh, you see, I, I would say, as I said to Debbie earlier, there's a great opportunity, especially for everybody in here, yeah. uh, about when you get to your junior, senior year co op or, or job potential, because that's, you know, you have Amazon located in the city of Fall River. Uh, maybe that's not the best one, I don't know, but at least there's a potential to do something there besides just ordering groceries. Yeah. You know I mean, there's a great deal of great future in that once you get in it. It's the field. I mean, it's the world. Yeah, now okay. technology yeah. is everywhere now everywhere, from right. our smartphones to computers. Yeah. Do you have a smartphone? Yes. Yeah. So you're covering all the bases. <laughs> so listen, anything you want to add to me? Uh, say hello to anybody? No, yeah, not really. I don't uh, know. Your parents. The parents, I'm sure, are very proud of you. Yeah, they are. Evan, you'll be successful. You'll be very successful. Thank you very much. No problem. What do you like about what you're doing? What do you like about it? I like that it's something that it doesn't really involve much. It just basically involves the program, your keyboard and a mouse. Obviously, it involves the knowledge of knowing how to make your website or whatever you're making with the code. Yeah. But personally, it's something that I can do myself, and then if I need help, look to others right. for example or guidance. Yeah, yeah. Miss, Mrs. Boscom, I'm sure, is, is on top of that. Yes, she is a very resourceful. She seems very happy with what she was doing here, and she's glad to help that us. That makes a big difference, doesn't it, huh? <laughs> yes, it Everything does. Everything you do. And there's a future, great future for that. You know that. Yes. Whether you're specific or where you want to be with it, or how far you can take it. You don't have any idea. You're just starting out to know the basics of how far you can take it. So you almost you don't worry about homework, I guess. Uh, <laughs> besides the academics? Yeah. Other than that, no. 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 Now, where did you live in the city here? Yes, Fall River. Okay. Okay. It's a it's a great it's, it's a great course. I mean, program web development. I mean, it's the beginning of doing anything that's out there. How many times do you pick up? Uh, anywhere in the world, I read a lot of papers, I, I mean, and um, it's it's high-end class. It's a high-end class internationally, 
everybody internationally is into some type of computer uh, usage and development, and uh, it runs the world today. And you're not going to be a spectator, you're going to be right in the middle of it when you get out. Okay. Anything you, uh, when you go home, and you're still happy you got a computer at home? Ah, uh, yes, I do. You do? Get a smartphone? Yes, I do. Wow. Wow. So you're touching all the bases and not missing any. <laughs> I'm working on styles and CSS. The CSS is a, um, a layout for the web page. That's why it's blue and white and has this sort of layout. Um, and on my off time, I practice my typing speed and like typing errors. And we do nitro type, which is racing against each other when it comes to text speed and accuracy. So we're everywhere. Um, the, all these little commands, like for example, header is right at the top, so it, that's what all this is. So it's setting up basically a body for the entire web page. It's pretty easy for the most part. It just takes some memorization. Uh, what I like about the shop is that it's very um, up to date. I, I guess that's what you would say. Very up to date about um, the present day technology. Uh, so like computers and things like that that help my generation move on and what they're gonna do for the future. I'm currently working on HTML and CSS. Um, I'm making a website called Snow Fever and Ski in board school. I'm currently working on HTML and CSS. So there's this application called Dreamweaver where you can code and you can make your own website just by doing all of this. And sometimes I usually go on keybr.com and I practice my writing. So you start and it just randomly generates random words, so you go this, type, and you just go along, and if you get an error, it's fine, it'll mark it, and you just practice, and you get better as you go on. So, uh, I really like this shop because it's, it's, has, it has great technology, it's best in this school, and it's just relaxing, and you can just do whatever you want. You can listen to music. Just do anything really, and it's a lot of fun. Thank you.